Our brand new video shows New York Governor Kathy Hochul getting an earful as she was leaving the wake for murdered NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, this over in Massapequa. A source tells me this happened moments after Hochul refused to abide by the family's wishes. They would do an open cast and viewing, and she did not want to wait on the outside. So she came in while they were closing the casket. As she stormed in, they just couldn't stop her. I'm told that family members let her have it when she got there, saying, quote, his blood is on your hands. When Hoku got outside, that's when another family member confronted her, telling her that the governor, the, telling the, that the governor laws need to change because that's the reason why Officer Diller is dead tonight. Hoku wasn't the only one approached at the wake. Mayor Eric Adams and DA Alvin Bragg were both confronted directly, this time by Officer Diller's wife. The source tells me she let them have it too, telling them the same thing that was told to Hochul. His blood is on your hands. I understand that Bragg kept quiet, and for a second it looked like Adams was going to engage. He realized he was heavily outnumbered and a politician, thought better of it, and left. The most shocking part about all this is that despite the fact that none of these leaders were welcomed at the wake, I have now learned tonight from a source that Kathy Hochul, the governor, asked to speak at tomorrow's funeral at St. Rose. So did hold on to something tight. A.G. Letitia James. Both were rejected by the family. Joining us now, a fellow Long Islander, Lee Zeldin, former New York congressman who came within just a few points of being the next governor of this state. Lee, you, you had a chance to digest that moments ago. Your thoughts first about the request to speak from Letitia James and